Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about use the graph of a one-to-one -one function to graph its inverse function on the same graph. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. So, how do we find inverse functions? Let's look at this graph right here. It looks fairly familiar. It is because this function is f of x equals x squared. But we've restricted the domain from 0 to infinity. So basically just the right hand side here. And we need to do that to find its inverse. Okay, So an inverse function, right? What is its inverse function there? Well, the inverse function of x squared with the restricted domain is the square root of x. And we can see that here. We can see that there in our teal graph. But notice it's the same as being reflected over the line y equals 0, or the identity graph, okay, or identity line. And so a inverse function is basically reflected over that line, and that's what we have right here, all right? F inverse of x is that square root of x. All right, so let me erase this, and we'll go into the next part here. Okay, we're finding the inverse of a function using reflection about the identity line. We're given this graph of f of x here, all right? Notice that it passes the horizontal line test, and so we can sketch the inverse. So if we sketch the line y equals x here, the dotted orange line, we can see it's reflection, right, f inverse of x there. But what do we notice here? There's a few things we want to talk about. Well, f of x, all right, f of x, what did it have? It had a domain from, well, not including 0 to infinity, okay? But its range was from negative infinity to positive infinity, okay? So notice the range there. So the domain was 0 to infinity for f of x in blue, or dark blue, and the range is from negative infinity to positive infinity. What about f inverse of x when we flip this over, okay? Over the identity line, mirrored it over. Well, its domain now goes from left to right from negative infinity to positive infinity, and the range is what's restricted and never will hit zero. So we have zero to up to positive infinity. Okay. So what do you notice about the domain and range of the inverse function and its original function? They're swapped, right? This one we didn't have to restrict anything. It was already res the graph itself was fine for an inverse function, passed the horizontal line test. But notice the domain and ranges are flipped from each function. The domain of f of x is the range of inverse of f of x, and the domain of inverse f of x is the range of f of x right there. Okay? So that's how you can graph a line, and you can kind of see it there over the identity line, and you have to find the inverse there. Well, I hope you learned something about how to graph really here inverse functions that are one-to-one. -one. If you did, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com